all the way from the island of Jamaica. Amen. Pastor Josette McKenzie. Let's receive her by shouting, Glory! Glory! God bless you, Pastor. We love you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Praise God for allowing me one more time to be able to grace this pulpit. I do not take it lightly. I recognize that this is what God would be doing if he was still tabernacling in flesh, standing before his people. And so, therefore, I realize that, praise God, this is something that one should not force themselves into. We should allow God to position us. And so, I do believe that this is in the will and plan of God tonight, that he allowed me to be here. I was blessed on Thursday night by the ministry of Dr. Colin Cawley. I was blessed on last night. Praise God. The praise, the worship has really stirred and renewed my passion. Praise God. And I'm so glad that God has established a ministry here that is reaching to the core of God's people. We need to be core worshipers. And with that in mind, I want to thank God for his manservant. And we want you really to put your hands together. Give God thanks. For Dr. Russell, the spirit of worship, the spirit of praise. And we said it earlier today in our Amen Day session that it is very unique, Amen, that God has placed on him praise and worship anointing. Not many pastors are that blessed, Amen, to have that, possess that gift. I call it a gift. And so we thank God that he has humbled himself, as the pastor says. There are some persons who think it's okay to preach, but don't clap your hands. It's okay to, you know, do other things, but you don't have to shout. But we don't want to get him started right now, so we just want to say, sometimes you can't find that word that you want to speak, but if you can praise then it will unlock the presence of God and God will give clarity and we thank God I think this ministry is built on praise and worship and this is how I believe these 22 years in this ministry has become successful we want to congratulate him and his wife the workers of this ministry for your labor 22 years is a long time. You go through different stages as you grow up from your toddler stage to your, um, praise God, adolescence. You go through puberty, adolescence, young adulthood. At 22, I think, is assumed that you have now gone into maturity as an adult, a real adult. I know there are Amen. In this age, there are children who say, well, I'm 18 now, so I'm grown. But if you still study your psychology, you find out that at 22, you really just assume adulthood. And so the church is a grown church now. You're not in a baby stage anymore. What a time to make that transition. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so we don't know what is the secret apart from what we saw demonstrated over this weekend. Praise, worship, prayer, the word. And if that's what God is using to navigate you into your next level, then don't stop praying. Don't stop praising. Don't stop doing what you're doing because it works. How many of you know that prayer works? Praise work. All the time. When everything stops in your life, if you continue to praise God, things will work out. I sat in the office and I was going over in my mind the reason, the theme. And I said, Kerry, Katie, something is bothering me because I want to be direct. It is possible that we are encouraging people to go for something that they haven't lost. 
it is a possibility that we are asking people to pursue something that they don't want to pursue. Could it be that we are trying to, amen, encourage persons to recover? I said the woman, she lost her pearl. Somebody lost their coin. Somebody lost their son. David lost his family. Some of us have lost friendship relationships. Some of us have lost peace. Some of us have lost, amen, loved ones. We've lost so many things. But there are some folks who say, I didn't lose nothing. So what am I pursuing? And I said to Sister Kerry, well, you know, and Sister Katie, then there must be a missing piece. Because Jesus said he came to seek and to save that which was lost and so if we didn't lose a house a car a family a job a possession a position whatever it is what is it that we lost then then i realized that we need to dig just a little deep to find out if we are in pursuit of the right thing tonight i am praying that god will give clarity I may not be able to shout like I did last the night before and last night. Amen. There's a little bug in my system, but we've prayed and healing has prevailed. We are going to read two verses from Colossians along with that one verse from, amen, 1 Samuel 30. And I think it will help to give some kind of direction. Praise God to the board of ministers to just about everyone who are visiting pastors. I saw the Baileys at the back there. God bless you. Amen to everyone who really love God tonight. Let us just realize that this is our season. This is our time. We are in God's time clock. And he has allotted to us this season to accomplish the task that he has given us. We should allow nothing or no one to defeat our purpose. Praise God, we should come with everything we have and make good of the time that is given to us. I am going to read verse, uh, amen, uh, verses 16 through, uh, amen, 18 quickly. And that's Colossians chapter 1. And then all of us, we are going to read verse 9 of Colossians chapter 2. Then we will read also verse 8 from the main text. You'll find it say, Amen. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him and he is before all things and by him all things consist and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence, preeminence. Praise God. We are going to read verse 9 of chapter 2. Together. For in him all the fullness. Verse 10. And ye are complete, which is the head, principalities, and power. We want to give a final statement to the enemy. That we know that he is in charge of everything. He has authority and power and dominion over all things. And if he say, go after it, I will restore it. We come against every voice that speak 
otherwise. Verse 8, we read together, And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. God is in the recovery business. And my thought is, recover it. We must find out what it is that must be recovered. I believe that God has given us, just before you sit, I'm going to make you sit down. That God has given us a mandate. He has given us an assignment to go into all the world and to recover not just some. He gave us power over unclean spirits. He gave us power over sicknesses and diseases. He gave us signs. He gave us tokens. He gave us new tongues. He gave us the right to slay the enemy's power. To slaughter everything that gets in the way of God's program. And to restore and to recover to bring back to its original position everything that God stamped his favor, his stamp of approval on. Do you know that the favor of God is upon you tonight? And the devil doesn't want you to go back to your former state. And he's doing everything in his power to block us from becoming all that God said that we should. We came this week, and this is my intention. Is that we should have a desire to go after it, to pursue it, and to retain it, to regain it, to hold it. Let the devil know you can't have it. It's mine. God said it. I believe it. Hallelujah. And I'm going to shout the victory. I said I'm going to shout the victory. Nothing is going to take my shout. Nothing is going to take my joy. I believe that what God says, he means it. I'm looking tonight then for a church that knows that when you persevere in faith, when you are persistent, when you are aggressive about what God says, and you are passionate and you hook and hold on. Wrap your faith around it. Grab it and hold it. No devil can pluck it out of your hand. Somebody praise God right now because you know that your faith has made you whole. And no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. For God has not given you the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind. You might look crazy but you're not crazy. You might sound crazy but you're not crazy. You are just passionate. You are just persistent. You are in pursuit of your destiny. You are in pursuit of your original position. You are going back to the place that God said you ought to be. You ought to show some attitude. You ought to have some kind of display in your character that says that I'm persistent I'm serious for retaining and obtaining and maintaining and reclaiming everything that God says that I can have somebody who knows that God has given you this season open your mouth and begin to praise God praise him like you have the victory praise him like you've been delivered already praise him like you're already in it you know God said it about you. You know what the word said about your life. Is there one crazy persistent praiser? Some of you shut up too soon. Some of you stop praising God too soon. Some of you start acting defeated too soon. You're not a defeat. You are a success. 
Come on, somebody, unlock the altitude that is in your praise uh, and give God glory. Come on, come on. You got to step up. It's time to step up your game. For the devil is not playing. He's serious about destroying the works that God has set you to do. Somebody give God praise in this house again. Hallelujah. I want you to look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, it's time to recover your original blessing. Come on, tell somebody it's, it's time to recover your original blessing. Anybody here know that we're still going after it? Tell one more person it is time to recover your original blessing. Lord, tell somebody I'm come tell somebody I'm zealous about it. Tell your neighbor I'm passionate about it. Tell somebody I'm a candidate for victory. I'm connected to victory. Somebody give God praise. I'm a candidate for success. Somebody give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Come on, open your mouth. Say, my mind is made up. Come on, I am determined. I am resolute. If this is what God says, it has to be so. I need a few persons who believe in miracles. Tell somebody I believe in miracle. I know that my God is a miracle worker. Is there anybody here know that God still works miracle? I don't care what everybody has said. I know what God says. It can happen. Somebody said it can happen. It can happen. I know it will happen. God tell me it can happen. God is still God. He got power over everything. Somebody said reclaim it. Repossess it. Come on tell somebody take it back. I might as well just talk to you because that's how I feel right now in my spirit. I'm kind of angry because the enemy is trying to make it look like the church has lost uh, its position. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we stand on the authority of God's word and we claim every blessing that God said is ours. Somebody said, bless me. I feel the spirit uh, of that little man uh, who changed his name and changed everything was said about him and said, bless me in Enlarge my territory. Change my name. Lord have mercy. Somebody give God praise. Come on. Give God praise in this house. Jesus. Jesus. Just say recovery time and sit down. Recovery. Oh, we we're, in, we're in the recovery institute. I feel it God. I feel it Jesus. Somebody say recovery. Slap your seat if you have to and sit down. I don't know what you lost. I don't know what the enemy took. I don't know what the enemy break into. I don't know what he took. It's time to get up. I need a few radical in this house. I'm so glad that there's room and space for you tonight that you can say and do and demonstrate. Amen. Just the way you feel. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Somebody thank God tonight again amen pursue one who follows in order to overtake and recover all that was taken to persist in spite of obstacles i want to let you know that what the enemy intended to be for obstacles in your way it's challenges tonight let your enemy know it's just a challenge come on come on come on you're here to turn obstacles into challenges the devil said you'll never make it to heaven the devil said you'll never be happy the devil said all kind of stuff but he's a liar all the things that he's putting up in your way to make you look sad, feel sad, be oppressed, depressed. He's a liar. We cancel that tonight. Somebody say cancel in Jesus' name. Come on now. There's an expiry date that is up on that right now. Devil, you are late. Come on, somebody. I said there's an expiration date. It's an expiration date. Somebody give God praise in this house. Let the enemy know that this is a new day. It's a new season. God has given to you in this time. What you lost then, that was then. But God is about to create if he has to make it. If he has to make a new one. If he has to go back for the old one and make it new. I don't care how he's going to get it back. I got to get it back. It's not my business how God is going to bring it back. If he wants to renew it, rebuild it, repair it, whatever God wants to do, make a new one, he just got to renew it. Oh God, thank you Jesus. Somebody say renewal. I know some of you just like to stick with your old style and everything that's old. Amen. Praise God. But I said I need some new stuff right now, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise in this house. Sometimes when God want to give you more, he just allow you 
to lose so it seem like what you got because he wants to take you to another level so it look like you're losing to recover is to save something from loss and to restore it to usefulness uh, to regain a former condition hallelujah to god to get back reclaim redeem recapture we are in the recapturing business i know that amen in spite of all that i could say tonight uh, we already know that there were some stuff praise god that used to be and the enemy came in and he crept in and he has dismantled he has upset he has disturbed praise god amen those things that were but we believe tonight that even what looked like it was not shall be in this week i don't know if you're in agreement with me but i'm serious you call me amen to believe with you and to believe for myself that god is going to bring me back to the original state he had an ideal for my life and what i'm living now is way below my privilege the devil is a liar i'm here to upgrade myself i'm here to step up and the only way to do that is to believe that if i go back to the god who create and make all things new he has the ability and praise god the willingness to bring it back to its original oh lord jesus i wish i have three persons in this house who know that things are not the way it used to be but god is about to fix it back again somebody say fix it jesus somebody say fix it jesus you know how come on i'm out here on your work praise god if i should die on the battlefield i'm out here on your work i can't sing until you fix me right i can't preach until you fix me right i can pray until you fix me fix me jesus you know how put it back together put it back into existence lord bring it back as it was in its former original state in the name of jesus somebody said repossessing time it's time to repossess come on now repossessing 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 return recover repair want to prophesy in your life tonight now 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 let, let me bring you back just a little bit because i want to talk about this because amen god's church was disrupted and the devil disrupted the church of god amen and so god had his church in heaven and i know some of you are saying well this is the church of god yes the church didn't just come here the church was birthed from heaven the church came from the heart of god the church came from god the church came out of god jesus came out of god he came out of the bosom of god and if jesus is the head of the church then and god god is the head of christ amen then the church comes right out of God. Can I talk to somebody here? So the entity here of this church, it's not just since Bishop came and called a few persons and put things together. This was divinely designed. This was organized in heaven. This was in the will and pre-plan of God. God had a foreknowledge of this particular building. This is just one slice of the big whole picture as we said. We have a big one big purpose, one big plan and this is just a small little piece of the plan of God. So don't get carried away and think this is the headquarters of God's plan we are just just a little bit of what God has planned thousands and thousands of years of preparation to bring his plan together and so we are in the plan of God so let us look from whence we came we are originated out of God we came out of God for the Bible said now that when God amen was in heaven I want to say was in heaven before God came to earth and somebody might ask me a question then when was it that god didn't come to earth he didn't come to earth until he created earth earth was created in him earth came from him but god was in heaven and heaven was before earth can i talk to somebody and i know i have theologian here amen and so there is nothing that came that was not and i understand that but in this natural realm called earth the cosmos earth praise god the systems of earth god was existent and he had a system he had a format he had a plan he had a course he had an action and it was in heaven that worship was going on adam wasn't around yet seth wasn't around yet noah wasn't around yet Enoch wasn't, Methuselah wasn't around yet. Praise God, but worship was going on. So in the area of worship, there was an order. 
Praise God. There was a principle to how worship handled. Because God had set up his choir and he had a praise and worship leader. He had praise and worship warriors. Can I talk to somebody here? And so, glory to God, there was a standard. The church that we are in today, it's the form of what exists in heaven. That is why when the tabernacle was built, God built it and allowed Moses to demonstrate and to set it up as it was in heaven. Can I talk to somebody here? Amen. So church was kept in heaven before you came along. And that's why some of us think if we don't show up, then church can't keep. If you don't praise God, then God ain't going to praise. You're making a mistake. God still get his glory without you. Somebody praise God. You might as well open up your mouth because uh, if you don't praise God, God's church is still moving forward. I feel the Holy Ghost talking to me tonight. I'm going to behave myself. Now, when we look now, minister, at what was happening here, is that right in the presence of holiness, in the presence of perfection, in the presence, uh, hallelujah to God, of God's righteousness, because God is righteousness, righteousness is dwelling in the presence of God. Because the Bible said that Enoch, he walked with God, and it was counted to him for what? Righteousness. If you want, praise God, righteousness to possess you, you have to walk with God and you have to stay in the presence of God. This is how righteous we are made righteousness, righteous by the righteousness of Christ Jesus. I want to bring us to a point here because folks need to understand, uh, amen, that what we are seeing here is just a little bit of what God intended for us. And so we have to understand then how the pursuit came along. You cannot pursue something that you don't know that you have lost. You cannot go after something that you don't know, amen, that belongs belongs to you come on somebody praise God and so then in the church of God was a system in the church of God was a plan because Lucifer son of the morning so he was called praise God the same one we call Abaddon Satan the same one we call amen the, the serpent so we call him all kind of names uh, who is still trying to stop and disrupt and move the church it's going to get a little bit rough in here tonight amen the church of God today praise God he was up in heaven in God's church uh, and he was carrying on his ministry and in the midst of his ministry, something happened. I don't know where it came from. I don't want to discuss that at this point. Amen. Where did the spirit, amen, of this unity and strife and jealousy and war came from? I heard James said, it came from your lust because your desire to have and you could not have. So the question then is, where did this lust came from? Where did this excess desire to have this dominion and power and authority over? over the order of God because God is a God of order and when God establishes something he expects for it to function the way he orders it uh, it is us that does not love order but God is a God of order and when God constitutes something we should live by the principles can I talk to somebody in this house and if it is not your time uh, amen on God's timing and God's clock uh, then you're going to miss up and mess up everything that God has aligned you that's why you have to wait until God rearrange you and set you in motion before you can possess that which God said is yours. The reason why some persons can't get up and persist and go after is because they don't know their timing. Somebody give God praise in this house. And so Satan then, Lucifer, son of the morning, so he is called, uh, praise God, he got up and he decided that he wants to take over God's church. He wants to take over God's church. He said, I will ascend to the north. I will move God out of his position. And this is his dream now. You see, I'm, I'm talking about pursuing. Because we can bring people to the place to see something that God didn't intend for them to get. Can I talk to you? For when you say you want it all, doesn't mean that you're going to shift anybody from their place. Kick them out of their position and take what they got. What you're going after is what God has for you. Somebody give God praise. So I don't want what you have. I want what God has for me. God, there are some of us who are going after some stuff that does not belong to us. We are going after stuff that belongs to other people. I don't want what you have. I want my own place.
blessing that God has in store for me. Oh, somebody better give God praise. Uh, I know that there are some folks uh, who said, well, God told me that that brother is my husband. Guess what? He's married. How can you say God say that that is your husband when the man has a wife? Uh, that is a demon of jealousy and covetousness. That cannot be your husband. God didn't tell you that. That is the devil. So there are some folks uh, who are praying for another man's wife to die so she can get him to marry. Can I talk to somebody in the church? I know I'm in the wrong church tonight. Uh, there are some folks who are praying that you die so they can get your position. And there are folks who are planning already when pastor die, who's going to take over the church? Uh, well, guess what? The devil is a liar. Pastor ain't going nowhere. Can I talk to somebody in this church? Uh, for there are times when uh, we work people into this position to believe that other people's position belongs to them. It's not yours, it's theirs. Uh, and so you don't pray that somebody die or somebody move from their position so you can have what they have. When I say I'm pursuing uh, and going after what God has for me, I got to line up with God's timetable. Somebody give God praise. Uh, and you cannot have stuff. Uh, before you are ready to handle it for there are some of us who are pursuing things that you can't handle God is looking for people who know that I want what I can handle because you might get it and you'll lose it because you don't know how to handle it can I talk to somebody in here so the devil wants to run heaven but the devil is a liar and so the devil wants to run the church uh, and the devil is a liar i need a few warriors to stick with me tonight uh, i need a few proud warriors to stay with me so one of the problems we're having in the church uh, is that there are folks running after stuff uh, that does not belong to them running after position that does not belong to them uh, trying to take over places and position that is not yours uh, I'm here to clear the atmosphere uh, that you can go after what you have not lost uh, you cannot take what God didn't say is yours. Tell somebody hands off. You might as well because somebody said, if God didn't give a take your, take your hand off it. You're confused, you're bad mind, you're crutchful, you're green eye, you're, you're, you're cut out of I feel the Holy Ghost in this house. Somebody worship God in this house. For there are some folks who show up here tonight to say let's go see if they're getting what they say they are well what God give you you got already he gave it to you and God said if you handle it well I'm about to give you more I feel that there are some persons who are lined up for the next level of your blessing somebody give God praise in this house huh? it is a spirit of the devil it is a touch of satanic demonic amen influence huh? when you want to take something that does not belong to you you are a thief. You are a kleptomania. You are a robber. Can I talk to somebody here? If it's my time, it's my time. If it's my season, it's my season. If it's my position, it's my position. If it's my rights, don't violate me. The devil is a liar. Somebody plead the blood of Jesus right now. We've come against every diabolical working of Satan. I feel a loosing in this place. I feel a move of God in this place. Tell somebody it's my right. Tell somebody it's my season. So get out of my way. Let me carry on the function that God has unctionized me to function. Tell somebody I'm unctioned to function. I'm anointed and I'm appointed. And it's my time to tell hell. You can't stop what God has assigned for me. I feel a breakthrough in this church. We come to break down some stuff we come to pull down some stuff we come to drive out some stuff we come to let the devil know that this is the church of the living God he broke it up in heaven and he tried to break it up in earth but no weapon that's formed against a short prosper somebody give God praise in this house and so the Bible said that the devil was successful because there are some folks who leave the church it is not them who made them left the church they were vulnerable and the devil instigated in the heart of somebody to poison them and they took the poison in the time of their vulnerability and they left the church can I talk to somebody here for Satan run a canvas in heaven I said Satan had a political affair and when he campaigned in heaven a third part of heaven 
Amen. Was in agreement with him. There are some folks who leave the ministry. There are some folks who broke relationship. Who walk away. They are not the ones who caused it. There's a demon. There's a diabolical working of Satan. There's a witch. There's a Jezebel. There's a wicked Ahab. Somebody plead the blood of Jesus. I feel God. Some folks uh, who saw you in a position uh, and they don't like the idea that you are the ones who rub in shoulder with the woman of God. Uh, so they plan and strategize how they are going to dismantle and light the eye out of there and break the relationship. So they said, run over here, brother Donovan. Run over here. So they sent him now go over there to whisper a word uh, in the first lady's ears. And before you know it, uh, she start to look funny at brother because she believe uh, that he is not a her side. I need few people to plead the blood of Jesus. Uh, and so before you know it, uh, things begin to break up. Uh, things begin to be dismantled. And nobody know who does it. It's not he who did it. Uh, it's he who did it. Uh, and sometimes when he does it, uh, he step aside and laughing after both of you. Oh God Almighty tell somebody, hold on to what you got. Uh, say hold on to what you got. Uh, if God put somebody in your life, tell somebody hold on. Uh, this is when I think you should hold on to somebody and say God put you in my life uh, and I'm gonna hold on to you uh, God put us together and I'm not leaving uh, call for apostolic unity call for unity from heaven uh, and said no devil in hell uh, is gonna destroy this relationship uh, tell somebody we are together huh, and we're gonna stick together we're gonna fight together we're gonna war together we're gonna progress together we're gonna get blessed together somebody to give God praise in this house. The Bible said now, amen, that the devil rose up up in heaven now and begin to sow seeds of discord now god says glory to god six things i hate and the seventh is an abomination to the lord so the devil didn't leave heaven because he committed adultery he never left heaven because he committed fornication for there are some of us who thought that's the worst sin that can happen well i'm here to have you know that there are some dangerous sin the one who sowed this saw this card on my brother yeah? that's an abomination yeah? so you don't look like you ever left church yeah? you never mess around with another man yeah? you never mess around with another woman yeah? but in your heart there's a demonic seed yeah? you are a discord so uh, i need a few warrior to say in the name of jesus yeah? dig up the seed yeah? look at somebody said dig up the seed of this card yeah? you plant it i'm here to dig it up yeah? I don't have nobody worrying in here. I said the reason why we're not further gone. The reason why we're not further gone is because a seed of this corn was sown. That somebody dig it up. Some persons should have been much more blessed. But somebody saw a seed. Somebody said dig it up. We come against it. It shall not germinate. It shall not prosper. I said we send forth some Holy Ghost fire to burn it up in the ground. Say scorch it up Jesus. Burn it up Jesus. Don't let it germinate. And if the tree come we're going to cut it down. And if it be a fruit we're going to chop it off. Ah, somebody give God praise in this. I feel the Holy Ghost. 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 It's about time the church understand uh, that we have order and principle. Uh, and when God set you up to bless you, there are folks who try to move you out of your blessing. Ah, Shanda Baho Satire. Satan will see you and the Holy Ghost rebuke you. Send your hot blood, Jesus. Uh, send your firewall, Jesus. Uh, and cover your people tonight. Uh. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, cover me. Say, cover me in my position. Cover my position. Cover my house, God. Cover my family, God. Cover my relationship. Cover my money. Cover my church. Cover my mission. Cover, 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 cover. Somebody give God praise and listen. And so the Bible said eh, that the devil now, he disrupted the church in heaven and he took a third. Don't be upset if folks walk out of your church because if God lose membership, how about you, brother? Can I talk to somebody here? All we got to do now is to go after. For when God lost, there were some that he bounded and reserved them into chains of darkness. Oh God, but let's take it a little further. It's not always going to be like this. 
so the devil said i won in heaven because there is a third that i got with me on my side and they will never go back to their original state so he came to earth now and god made the heavens and the earth and he also established a system he established a system of worship a worship session where he would go down and communicate in the cool of the day with his pastor pastor adam was the one who report to god and so after he worked and labor god would come down and said pastor adam so 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 he would come communicate ah uh, but god had his first member in his church uh, which was his wife sister eve uh, can i talk to you here and so pastor adam was so powerful and anointed uh, that the devil could not penetrate him by himself uh, he would have rebuked the devil to the face uh, so he went up now into the serpent uh, and the serpent was so sweet uh, there's some folks in the house of god uh, that is so sweet uh, they are so smooth on the tongue uh, when they finish talking to you you got to say that's the voice of the lord uh, but you got to be a discerner i wake up the discerners in the church i said i wake up the discerners in the church we pull out the blindfold from off of you open your eyes and see there are some folks that sound sweet but they are of the devil they are like the serpent somebody plead the blood of jesus there are some folks who carry some news you got to rebuke them when they come and tell you about the man of god rebuke them to the face when they tell you about the woman of god rebuke them to the face it's a seed of satan it is a deception it comes to this rope it comes to root out it comes to break down it comes to kill what god will i don't know why i come here preaching like this jesus i didn't come here to preach like that but i gotta preach like this lord how oh, can i talk to somebody here because you see ah oh, devil cannot use someone who is not affluent you got to be skilled on your words you got to be very influential can i stay there just a little more you see take somebody in your inner circle to know what goes on in your life it takes somebody up in your secret corner watch the people who you call right hand people i said watch the folks that you lean on the man who shoulder hallelujah the bosom body yes. Glory. careful of the bosom bodies they are the ones that will ruin you i want somebody to plead the blood of jesus the man on the outside does not know your plan it is folks that are in your inner circle that knows your plan and purpose and know where god taking you so you gotta pray over them you gotta watch them you gotta be careful the question is who watch who watch your back the man who is watching your back who watch them you got to keep your eyes open because what the devil is after is your destiny and there are some things that you lose you can't for Esau lost his position and he sought it with tears and couldn't get it back. But tell somebody, I'm getting back what God said is mine, what the devil took. Somebody better start, get your auction. Get your action together. Stir up your passion and put it into action and let the devil know it's coming back. So, watch this quickly. So, in the church of earth. The instigator came but not the way he came he was as an angel in heaven hmm? but now he came as a serpent hmm. he did not change his strategy he only changed his clothes it's the same old deception but he changed his clothes you got to watch the outer man watch the instrument who shot up Now watch this. He came into the church where Pastor Adam and Sister Eve exist. He succeeded. He succeeded to the point where he cut them off. And where Pastor Adam was no running from the presence of his God. No, this is serious. The Bible said that David inquired at the Lord. And he asked 
God should I pursue? Adam didn't inquire. He just started running. Well, well, well. Shatter. Robo Sata. Sometimes things happen. And to the best of us, things happen. But before you start running, inquire. Say, Lord, how did this happen? Lord, can you do something about this? Ushandabaho Satai. Question here is before you run away, did you inquire from God? Should I change my position? Should I change my spot? Is that where you plan to bless me? What and if you run away from your blessing? So the question then, my dear sister, why did God call Adam to come back? Because when God constituted a position, a place, a territory, when he set up a law, an order, a constitution pertaining to your blessing, that's where he planned to bless you. Even though you have struggled at the place of your blessing, you have to stay there. Irrespective of the mistake, irrespective of everything that comes to this mantle, hang in there until God fix it. Shake to him and tell him, hang in there. And watch God work it out. You're not talking to nobody. Say, hang in there. Shake to him and say, hang in there. Watch God work it out. Things are not going right. Things are not right. It's not the way God wanted to be. But hang in there. Because if you hang in there long enough, He's going to come looking for you. Because when God comes looking for you, He's going to look for you where He played. He's not going to look for you over there. Somebody said, Here I am, Lord. I'm waiting on you. Somebody said, I don't mind waiting. That's what David said, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Look at your neighbor, say, wait, I say. On the Lord. For everything you need, it comes from God. There is no blessing from the devil. There is no blessing from your enemy. Now hold this. Adam. You're running. Don't you know that some of the things that should have been fixed we allow it to go out of hand? Some restoration. See, I don't know I'm preaching like this. There are some stuff that should have been restored. There are some conditions that should have been fixed. If a party didn't run, it would have been ironed out long time ago. But the devil is going to put fear. And he's going to put shame. And he's going to allow pride to apprehend you and elevate you and to say to you, you don't need to be where you are to get blessed. For there's a blessing over there as well. But tell somebody if God set you right here, don't walk out on your blessing. If the ruler rise up against you, tell hell I ain't leaving my post. Somebody say, hold on. Just grab onto one hand and say, hold on. Stay there until God restore you. So I heard God said, Adam, Adam, where art thou? The question here is, why was God calling Adam? Is it that God didn't know where Adam was? He knew where Adam was. But where God placed Adam, where Adam belongs, when God came, Adam was not there. So God had to call Adam back to his original position. For God had already set up a plan how he was going to work out what became Adam. There is something in the institution that constitutes Renewal. 
There is something in the book that constitutes restoration. God is in the restoration business. God is in the recovery business. God is in the putting back together business. Look at the neighbor tell him it's time to bring it back together. I wish you'd walk over to two people and tell him let's bring it back together. The devil is a liar. I wish you'd walk over to two persons and say let's bring it back together. It's time to fix it. It's time to recover it. It's time to repair it. It's a damage done from the devil. I need a few warriors in this house. Said it's recovery time. It's restoration time. It's restitution time. I feel a move of God right now. I feel a change in my system. Some of you are sitting on it too long. Huh? You've been in malice too long. You've been depressed too long. You stop talking to each other too long. You stop communicating too long. Look at the neighbor. Said it's time to bring it back together. Said it's time to give it life again. Look at the neighbor. Said let go. The past is over. It is a new day. It is a new system. It is a new authority. Somebody said walk into it. Open up your mouth. Rip off the bondage from off of you. Tear off the chains from off of you. Remove the cloud. Rebuke the cloud. Too much cloud in the house of God. God wants to prosper the church. God wants to raise the dead. God wants to fill people with the Holy Ghost. But too much cloud. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. This man of some malice. Shout the blood of Jesus. This rub some disunity. Shout the blood of Jesus. Look at your neighbor. So we come to put it back together. Shake hands and restoration. Say life again. Can somebody unlock life? Unlock the prosperity. God wants us to prosper. God wants us to be favored. It's the plan of the devil huh? to cause so much tumult, so much disunity, so much disgrace, so much reproach that folks don't have time to see the victory you have it. Is there one person in this house that know that it's time to have victory again? You've been down for too long. Pull yourself up. Said I refuse to be sad. I refuse to be oppressed. I refuse to be depressed. I cry enough. Wipe your tears away. Said it's time for joy now. Somebody give God praise. Touch your neighbor. Say get up. Say get up. And start shouting again. You've been praying long enough. You've been fasting long enough. So let's put it back together. Somebody run over to your neighbor. And said unlock the unity. Unlock the peace. Unlock the prosperity. Somebody open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. And say unlock. Shake your hands and unlock. The devil trying to tie you up. The devil trying to bind you up. The devil trying to sit on you. Shake yourself up. Said I shall not die. I refuse to die. Pull yourself up. I'm too blessed to be depressed. Somebody shake yourself up. And said I'm walking in my new season. It's a season of recovery. It's a season of blessing. It's a season of restoration. Grab somebody, hold them. And said restore your joy. Restore your peace. Restore your power. Restore your anointing. Restore your grace. Grab on to somebody. Said you're better than that. Tell them you're more than that. Slap them, said neighbor. You're more than that. It's the devil standing on you. Said devil, get off of my ministry. Get off of my gift. Get off of my house. Get off of my relation. Get off, devil. Somebody worship God. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Look at the neighbors to clear the house. I need some bloodhounds. I need some anointed people with the blood of Jesus over you. Drink up some blood and tell hell get out of here. It's Holy Ghost time. It's Holy Ghost time. It's revival time. It's
featuring you all time. It's time for promotion. It's time for progress. It's time for growth. I call every dead thing to come alive. Look at your neighbor say, get up. It's not time to die. It's time to live. It's not time to be sick. It's time to be well. It's not time to be sad. Time to be joyful. Somebody turn around if you can and say, I still got joy. I still got joy. After all I've been through, after all the devil tried to put me through, I got my joy. And ain't nobody that gonna take it away. What God has for me, it is for me. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Said I am blessed. The devil tried to cheat you out of your destiny but who God bless can no man curse if God be for you the devil can't be against you come on lift up your hand turn around turn around turn around God is for me it's my time to be favored it's my time to recover I'm tired of being poor being intimidated I'm tired of being ashamed it's my time to be bold it's my time to be brave it's my time somebody glorify God in this house you want to testify for five minutes you want to testify you want to testify Somebody glorify, give us a praise break in this. I want what's mine. I want what's mine. I want what's mine. Oh, shut up. I want what's mine. Hallelujah. I'm having a better experience. I'm a better. Hallelujah. I had to run from my brother. When I'm on my way back. I want what's mine when I heard God says in his words hallelujah he said Jacob what's your name I am Jacob hallelujah I'm missing something I walked away from it when I want it back I'm gonna get mine I'm gonna get mine I'm gonna get mine hallelujah hallelujah so the Bible says glory to God he held on to the angel I will not let you go until you bless me. It's mine. It's mine. It can't touch my number. It is mine. I want mine. I want mine. I want mine. Hallelujah. Can't touch my number to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody I'm having a better experience. I'm having a better experience. Hallelujah. Something tell me I'm gonna get my stuff. I'm a Bethel, the mount of God. I'm at my blessings. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel something pulling me back home. Where I belong. Hallelujah. I run away, but I'm on the way back to get my stuff. I want mine. I want mine. I'm gonna give them my Bible preacher, but tell somebody I'm tired of running. Yeah, I said, tell somebody I'm tired of running. When you run, you can't get nothing. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Gotta stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah.
I'm all messed up, but something tell me there's a change that's coming on. There's a change that's about to take place. Hallelujah. Call me what you want, but something tell me. Hello, somebody that's about to pull a switch. He's about to pull a switch. Hello, somebody. My name is about to be changed. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on up on your mouth, and praise. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hey, oh, Sata. Watch this. Let me see the true worshippers. True passion. Echo Sat. Yes. 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 Press you. Press this. Press. Push. Sunday, oh, swim your way to it, climb your way to it, press your way to it, push your way to it, holler your way to it. One more praise is called an inquiry, it's called an inquiry, it's called an inquiry. You want justice? I want justice. I want justice. I want justice. Hula Bakosaya. Ketola Masaya. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you better come here right now. You better come here right now. I said if you don't have to receive the Holy Ghost yet, you better come here right now. Make your way to the front quickly. Is there one without the Holy Ghost? Come quickly. Shout I. Speak the tongues of God, girl. Open your mouth and speak. The Holy Ghost is in. Open your mouth. Just receive the Holy Ghost now. That's all you have to do. Come on, speak the tongues of God. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Speak. That's it. That's it. Speak the Holy Ghost. Speak Holy Ghost. That's it. Come on. Speak Holy Ghost. Prophesy. Tell the Holy Ghost. Speak the tongues of God. Shout the tongues of God. Receive the Holy Ghost. Call Tasha. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Come on. Speak the Holy Ghost. The blood. Atasha. Holy Ghost. Speak the tongues of God. Let that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Somebody worship God. Speak the language of God. Speak the language of God. Speak the language of God. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Come on, yes, call him. Treat that's right. That's right. That's right. You wanna praise him. You wanna praise him. You wanna praise him. You wanna praise him. Call his name Jesus. It's time. It's time. Call on his name. That's it, son. That's it. Holy. Radicals. Radicals, pursuers, you are persistent. You shouldn't allow nothing to stop you. You shouldn't allow anything to bombard you. You should not allow anything to block you. You're wounded, but you should still fight. You're losing some, but you should still fight. Echo Satan. You feel sick in your body, but you still should. Friends walk away. Folks walk away. You still have a fight. Do you have a fight, brother? 
Do you have another fight? There's some fight left in you that you haven't used up yet. How dare we keep quiet and shut our mouths when there's some more fighting left? The fact that your head is gray doesn't mean that your fight is over. There are folks who love to put you in a corner because they calculate your days and think that because you've been around so long, then it's time to stop. You can't stop. Who took your fight away? Who took it? Who stopped you? Why you stop fighting? Why? Why you lift your hand and start inquiring? Call him by his name. should have been further gone your ministries should have gone further long time there's a bombardment there's a hindrance there's a blockage someone is responsible Some of you are at the edge of promotion, but someone sold a seed, got in the way. It's time for us to chase, to pursue, to recover our original place. You still don't, you still, you still ain't saying nothing yet. I'm not taking any back roads to my destiny. And I'm not detoured. I'm walking right on the highway that leads to my destiny. I want everybody to see when God is blessing me. I don't want you to just pop up on the scene and somebody say, when did it happen? I want you to see when I'm struggling. I want you to see when I'm limping. I want you to see when I'm going through it. I want you to know that I work hard to get it. Is there anybody here that know your pressure way to come this far? You're not going to allow the enemy to cut you down. Open up your mouth and give God praise. Too far. Praise him like you know you came too far. Who shall I? One more thing. Then I'm going to give back the mic to the other preacher. How could you have suffered the things you have suffered and become silent? How could you have gone through all the hell that you're going through and you get to this point and decided that you're going to be silent you cannot afford to hush up not after the sacrifices not after all the troubles that you have experienced Some of you should have lost your mind in the process. Somebody you cried. You cried yourself to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your pillars were wet. It grieved your soul. Your heart was broken. You were disappointed. You were discouraged. You were wounded. You were broken. But you still limped your way to church. 
You cannot come this far and allow the enemy to make you run from God. I am running. I am not running. I want in the next two minutes for you to brace yourselves. Push yourselves forward. And I want you to view just a little bit where God took you from. Just a little bit. Some of the things that you came through to get here. Ask yourself the question. Is it worth it? At this time. To lock myself. Into a cage. What is it. That would stop me now. From achieving my goal. There has to be a goal. There has to be a purpose. You must understand. That God intended. To bless you. To perfect things concerning you. And if things are not perfected at this point. It is the plan of the enemy. It's a demise of Satan. It's a diabolical working. It's a scheme from the pits of hell. I want you to go into a war for your praise in the next two minutes. But before we do that. Is there one person in this house tonight? One. That desire to be saved. Change your life. Is there one somewhere in this congregation? Somewhere in this room. That desire. That tonight I am changing my life. Preacher. Tell me what to do. So my life will never be the same again. If it's water baptism. I want it. If it's the Holy Ghost, I want it. Come forward if you're in this house. Come right here. Come, we're going to pray with you right now. Is there one and save in this house? Before we go into two minutes of warfare praise. Is there one in this house? You're not baptized. You're not saved. Satan cut you down. He has you bound. He lock you down. You are so addicted to your neck. To sin. Is there one. You are oppressed by the enemy. Is there one individual. I don't know if you're here. But if you're here come forward. We want to pray with you. And if there is none. If there is none. Praise God. You want prayer. But you're baptized. And you receive the Holy Ghost. But you need prayer. The enemy pressing you down. We're going to pray you through tonight. We're going to war for you tonight. We're going to pray you through tonight. Brother, that's what it's all about. We're here to get you back. We pray that the presence of God will invade your mind. Mama Saya, store your mind up. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Uh huh. That's it. It's a mind. It's an attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think it. Come on. Just ask the Holy Spirit to come into your mind again. Ask Him. Invade my mind, Holy Ghost. Alabashanda. The battle you are fighting is in your mind. Hey, Kosa. Hey, your Mama Masaya. Feel, feel the move of God. There's a shifting. See? There's a shifting already. Yeah, 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 your warfare praise begun, echo sata, yes, it began, as soon as your mind is renewed, then something begins to happen, ko shatai, ko shanda, daba hosa, roko, siya, mama, 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 we're fighting with you, shanda, echo sata, come on, you got to release a praise, it says that you're more than conquering your mind, and you're conquering in this church, you're about to conquer in heaven, come on, open up your mouth, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's hear the praise now. Let's hear it. Echo your voice. You got to release your voice like a divine projectile. Come on, send it out. Open that mouth. Open that mouth. Shata. Como. Si. Toro. Bobo. Aha. Aya. Satatata. Oto. Shata. 
Aya ma 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 sha. Yeah 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 yeah. Atasha. Ako soto. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes. Your, your strength is coming back. There's a renewal coming back. Bishop, get ready to touch him. I think you should put a little oil on him. Ma sit all over will stand that. We pull you back. We draw you back. We raise you up. We dig you. We restore you. We renew you. Ah, shanda hot soto. Ah, yo bobo saka. Makusha. Echo sa. Hey. Yato shanda. Somebody worship God. Restoration. Restoration. Open up your mouth now. And about two minutes of warfare praise. Two minutes. Echo Sata Ayas Lucif Holy Ghost Sata Tahusha Holy Ghost Mano the Lamosa Lucif In the name of Jesus Let him go Let him go Satan The bandage is over The bandage is broken The bandage is broken Warfare praise, warfare praise. Two minutes, warfare praise. The bondage is broken. It's broken. Warfare praise, warfare praise. Warfare praise, warfare praise. It's broken. Loose yourself. Warfare praise. What? Let the warriors rise. Let the warrior praise us rise. Let the warrior praise us come forth. Let the 